There's an area in the northern region of Thailand known for some of its darkest years in Southeast Asia. But why is this area so infamous? Let's rewind to the 1950s and head to an area where three countries meet. Laos, Thailand, and Myanmar. What you're about to see is the historical past of the notorious region of Thailand, plagued with the production and sale of opium, which ultimately resulted in an opium war. Welcome to the Golden Triangle. Right, so we literally just had to drive across the road and we found an ancient ruin. And what's really awesome about this one is they're doing some landscaping on it. Let but me show not you. Not on the ground. Not on the ground. Let's show you what we mean. You guys can see, do you see those guys up there? They are picking the weeds off of this pagoda. And he is so high up. He's like a little speck on my camera. You guys are absolutely mental. I thought landscaping in Canada was hard. And these dudes are literally on an ancient ruin, picking weeds and trying not to fall to their death. Pretty cool here. Pretty cool here. Where are we off? We're off to the Golden Triangle. And what's at the Golden Triangle? Uh, Laos and Myanmar. <laughs> and? And there's like a big triangle viewing platform that you can go to. We're going to see three different countries and we're going to, will we be able to go into three different countries or no? No. 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 Well, like we get to see them. There is a boat that you can take right into the center of the triangle because the triangle is in the water. But I think it's kind of over budget. Yeah, so yeah. We're just going to go and look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so we have made it to the Golden Triangle and right now I am looking at three different countries all in one view. Check it out. In Thailand, that little bit of green right there is Myanmar. And that with the boats is Laos. Three countries, one view. This is a cool map. So you guys can see. Here. Uh, here, that's where we are. If that's you look Myanmar. across, Myanmar is over there. And then the Laos side is literally right over there. Yeah. And that makes up the golden triangle. And it's all gold. And it's all gold. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are just taking a wee little break right now. And then we're gonna head off to the opium farm. No, not the farm. <laughs> the opium museum we're gonna be learning about the dark history of trading growing and selling opium in this region of thailand because the golden triangle as you know three different countries it makes it quite easy for you to s smuggle a little bit of opium across the border a little bit just just a little bit <laughs> but let's hop on the bike we're gonna head there we're gonna check it out and we're gonna take you along with us all right, so we have just made it to the opium house. And the really cool thing is, we just came in, we just bought a ticket, but here you actually get to choose what ticket that you want. So it's kind of like a postcard, let me show you. So guys, when you pay for your ticket, you actually get to choose which ticket that you want. It's a postcard. Okay. okay. You guys can see right here, like these little statues of opium or the poppies that create the opium. You can see the Silk Road starting in Southeast Asia and making its way through China, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Turkey, and then all the way over here to Croatia, Serbia under there, Egypt, but super cool. We found the funniest sentence Brennan pointed out. Humans begin to smoke tobacco after their mothers stop breastfeeding them. <laughs> so they started smoking That's tobacco. That's when I started. <laughs> well, there's a myth within the Akka tribe, who are like um, one of the hill tribes in this area, about how opium was farmed. So, it goes that there was a very beautiful young woman and she was so desired that basically all the men in her village wanted to marry her. So one day, not one man, but seven men came to propose <laughs> to her at the same time. And she was like, oh my god, I don't know who to pick because I don't want to upset anyone. And so she was like, you know what? I'm not going to pick any of them, but I'll make love to all of them. Basically was her demise. She ended up getting very ill and dying shortly after. But what she did say was to her family, you have to look after my grave, um, take good care of it, and something like will come out of it. Um, but be careful, like a beautiful flower is going to grow, but it's going to be really bad, and people are going to be so consumed by it and like desire it as much as they desired me. 
voila, poppy. Heroin. It's apparently growed from her grave and people got addicted to her. <laughs> that was great. That was great storytelling. You should be an actress. So you guys can see there's a simulation. <laughs> so we are going to show you how puppies grow. All right, ready? Yeah. Ooh, so the flower grows up. Takes a while. <laughs> you see it. Literally, it's growing up. And now the flower flowers. Beautiful. Very so we nice. can see inside where the nectar is inside that little sprout on top okay, of wait, the wait, leaf. Wait, we're gonna get it. And then the petals fall off when the pod in the middle is mature. And then where the capsules are mature, incisions are made and white latex seeps from the scored areas. So the little white bits are seeping out. And then here it thickens and turns into a dark narcotic. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how heroin is made. So you guys can see they have a Hills tribesman and this apparently is the best position for smoking opium. It's called the heel against buttocks. So if I come around here, his heels are right up against his butt. And then you can see they have a glass contraption right here. They got a long pipe leading into his mouth. They have a metal rod that heats up from the flame, which then cooks the opium inside this glass bottle. And then you are now smoking opium. You can see this mock-up right here, but look at these fields of poppies. You got the purple colors, you got the red colors, and it honestly looks very beautiful. For something so deadly, why is it so beautiful, Francis? It's part of the lure, right? Something nice and tantalizing that would draw people in. It's crazy to think the first person who was like, I'm gonna Figure crack this open yeah. and smoke it. That's the Akka. Aka Hill Tribe Legends. <laughs> Just walking into the next room and here is a bunch of different equipment that they use during the opium trade from scales, from tools used to help cultivate the opium. The ceramic blocks were used as pillows. Yeah, it says that you had to have your head elevated. So they would use these blocks that are 15 cents. There's literally a whole technique to smoking opium. Yeah. <laughs> we like did not art. know about. Yeah. Like, well, you did you notice see. back there at that like setup there you're supposed to put your heels to your ass? Dude, you, yeah. you, you black out. Yeah. But it says that um, it didn't matter that the pillows were made of ceramic or wood or whatever because they would literally feel like they were on a fluffy bed. And guys, yeah, so out of it. those are the pillows they're talking about, these ceramic bricks on There's loads of them. both There's sides. Loads of all these ones. So as recently as 1967, there was a war over opium, and it was a massive war that lasted for a month, but you guys can see in this 3D model, it is showing the war that's breaking out, and Thailand's on one side just watching everything go down over in the Laos side of the opium war. Alright guys, what an awesome day trip that has been. We saw some pretty interesting things out in the countryside, outside of Chiang Rai. And all of this is only within an hour and a half drive. This whole loop only really takes three hours to do. And if you're actually interested in the loop, I'll post a screenshot of the loop here. You can screenshot it, you can use it for your next adventure here in Northern Thailand. But if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.